Joining me tonight in Hollywood, investigative journalist Pat LaLama. Also in Hollywood, editorial director of usmagazine.com, Ken Baker. In New York, Court TV anchor Lisa Bloom. And here in Hollywood as well, extra correspondent Carlos Diaz. Um, okay, guys, as we know, Jamie Lynn is a major teenage icon with a hit show on squeaky clean Nickelodeon. The show's called Zoe 101. Young girls everywhere look up to her. Um, Ken, we're hearing from Nickelodeon that they are going to finish airing season three and then also season four, which they've already filmed. But uh, why didn't they just pull it off the air immediately? Well, I, I think what's clear is that they have a very solid following. And I think that even at 16, I mean, the, the audience, there's younger viewers, but the tween audience, the teen audience, they understand the distinction between someone's personal life and someone professionally what they're doing. And by the way, she's not really showing. She's three months along. The season is going to start very soon. And I think that those images of her being pregnant out there in the magazines and on TV shows is not going to really conflict with what's on the show for a very long time. So it seems like it's a safe thing to do. Okay, well, as I said, you know, they've already taped the fourth season as well. And, you know, Nickelodeon has spent a boatload of money on this show and, and on this young star. Um, Carlos Diaz, how mad must Nickelodeon be right now? All I can tell you is I went there, I think, in September to do an interview. And there was a list of restrictions of what I could and could not ask her like a mile long. And I'm sorry, but you guys are wrong. They're, they're freaking out right now. They're not going to try. It's Nickelodeon. They, you know, they're not going to try to cover this up. They're, they're either, they're either going to deal with it or dump her. There's not going to be kind of a middle ground where they try to hide the pregnancy. Either they're going to do something that's never been done before and show a 16-year-old dealing with, with, a, with a pregnancy that was not planned, or they're going to get rid of her because it's, it's all about the image of Nickelodeon and the squeaky clean image that they're trying to maintain. Well, Brooke, Brooke, I've got a suggestion that might solve Go the ahead. problem. Because, you know, uh, like Lisa said, you can't fire her for being pregnant. However, they do have an image that they maintain. You can't deny that. There's a specific image that Nickelodeon likes to exude. Why not do a responsible series about teen pregnancy and I use agree. Jamie Lynn it, and make it awesome. intelligent? How about that? I After want 10% school if they special, do it. <laughs> motivate <laughs> parents to sit down with their yes. children, something yes. like that. There All right, go. good idea. Why not? And, and, you know, show, and show how Blue, tough it can be. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. It's, absolutely. it's a challenge, and, you know, you can't take this sort of responsibility lightly. And, Lisa Bloom, I want to say that there are so few young starlets out there who are good, solid role models for young girls. Um, you are a mother. How do you break this kind of news to your kids, or uh, how do you sit down and have that discussion? Well, I reject the entire premise here that there's something shameful or horrendous about what she's done, because if that's true, that applies to about half of the 16-year-olds in this country. Was she having unprotected sex? We don't know. Did birth control fail? We don't know. I talk to my kids about birth control. I give them all of the information. You know, Jamie Lynn comes from Louisiana, a state that gives abstinence education primarily. They don't get educated about birth control, which I think all teens should get. But, you know, to say, and this is not the Taliban, to say that a 16-year-old girl got pregnant and her life is over and she's ruined and she's a terrible role model, I just reject that premise. I think that's a shame that in 2007 we're still trying to humiliate humiliate her for something like that. Then talk to, talk to me in six months or talk to me in a year, talk to me in two years and see if she has a career. I'm not saying that she shouldn't have a career. I'm just saying that the game that she's played for the last few years is a squeaky clean game and now that game is over. And if she had established herself in more mature roles, maybe she's got a shot. But and her what I'm image saying right is now if they fire her, they're clean. looking at a multi-million dollar lawsuit because it'll, it'll illegal I'm, for Nickelodeon to fire somebody because they're pregnant. Why just like can't it's illegal she, for anybody else to do that in America. Why can't she still have a career? Why does it have to be as a squeaky cleaner? I mean, yeah, that may be over, but she's going to get older. She's going to be right. a mother. She still has talent. Why can't Why can't she still have a, a role in television, Carlos? Maybe change but, but, her but image Pat, going uh, forward. Pat, really? if, she, if she does want to pursue acting, maybe she can do that. But you guys, I do want to get to this. Uh, <laughs> the publisher, uh, let me step in for one second. The publisher of the book that Jamie Lynn's mother was writing about raising two celebrity daughters, uh, the publisher has put that on ice and definitely postponed the release. Um, 
Um, Pat, is Lynn Spears to blame here for the troubles her daughters are having? Any of us who have had a hand in raising children, whether you gave birth to their, your stepkids and you love them, you can't take the blame for everything. There's a lot of external forces that you just can't control in this world, and it's sad but true. You can't have complete control of everything your children do. However, I will make the, go out on a limb and make the blanket statement that for this woman to be writing books about parenting is <laughs> contradictory to me. I think she probably, you know, role models are important. I think both she and her husband are probably somewhat to blame. But again, like Lisa says, this isn't the greatest sin in the world. It's unfortunate, but it's not right. like she's out shooting heroin or smoking She did right. right. And, and as we've as said, everybody... Barry Mel may have, by the way. As we said, everybody does make mistakes. Ken, I want to get your perspective because you are a parent as well. Do you think Lynn Spears is to blame here because she is receiving a lot of criticism right now? Well, I think that blame is a really harsh word to throw around. Like I said before, it's responsibility. She has a responsibility for sure. But, you know, a fair criticism is that Lynn Spears apparently has gotten her daughter paid to give this interview to OK Magazine and to do photos and all this kind of stuff. I think a, a good question to raise is, why is she doing that? Like, is that the right thing Good to point. do? I think that, you know, like, she could right. have just come out with it with a statement, but she's monetizing her she's pregnancy. Doing it be, she's doing it because it's, they owe they owe OK Magazine from when Britney <laughs> went well, and it, had that wow. incredibly bad photo shoot earlier question. this year. And those are fair questions to raise. Though. We do Jamie have to end good. it there. Sorry, guys. Pat LaLama, Ken Baker, Lisa Bloom, Carlos Diaz. Thank you all.